Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. My name is Nick Searle, I'm a Chief Engineer at Titus and today I will be discussing our Chill Beam Selection Tool. This software runs in Excel and relies on macros for many of the functions. So on opening, please make sure that macros are enabled. The program has four primary sections. The global parameter section, where the room air and water conditions are entered. The thermal zone input section, where the room loads and ventilation data are entered. The beam input section, where the model, size and flow rates of the chill beams are entered and the calculated output data section shown in the white shaded columns to the right of the zone input data. In our first example we will select some beams for a classroom application. This 900 square foot 27 occupant classroom has a sensible load of 25 BTUH per square foot, a latent load of 8 BTUH per square foot and a ventilation rate of 400 CFM. The first task is to enter in our global design conditions a 75 dry bulb for the room, 55% RH, a primary air condition of 63 with a moisture content of 45 grains, our chilled water supply temperature of 59 degrees and a maximum room NC of 27. Now we can enter the zone load data, the room area, the sensible cooling load, the latent cooling load and our classroom ventilation rate of 400 CFM. Let's now choose one of the 11 chill B models shown in the top panel. Clicking on any one of them will take you to the Titus web page where you can download the full model details such as the submittal sheet. Now enter the chosen model from the drop down box in column J. The approximate number of beams is calculated and shown in column K. We can decide if we want to accept this calculated quantity by pressing the use button or we can manually enter the quantity in column L. The default air discharge pattern and coil type can be changed by using the cell drop down boxes. In this case we are not heating so I will change the coil type to two pipe cooling only. Now you may notice that the leftmost cell in the zone row is now highlighted green. This indicates that enough data has now been entered to use the rapid select function to produce a selection. By pressing the rapid select single zone button the program automatically selects beams just for the current active zone row. So make sure the cursor is positioned anywhere on the row you wish to select. The zone and individual performance sections are now populated with the air and water flow rates, cooling and heating performance and the beam noise level. The final step is to calculate the room comfort data using the beam spacing distances read from the room layout drawing. The ceiling and occupied zone heights are entered along with the spacing distances from the centre line of the beam to the nearest wall and the centre line distances between rows of beams. Adjustments to the automated selection can be made at any time. For example, we can force a reselection using a different beam length by manually changing the length and selecting the reselect using current length command which is found in the right click context menu. Selections are easily updated with revised room loads by using the rapid select function after the new load data is entered. Notice how the minimum primary air flow rate is automatically updated when the latent load increased. Using the rapid select function is also the quickest way to update the selections if any of the global parameters have changed, such as the chilled water temperature. This next section is a demonstration of the software's advanced features and how they can be used to assist with the sizing of the primary air handling units. 
The first task is to import the room loads from the load calculation software. Copy the data from a CSV or a spreadsheet file. Paste the data into the selection software using the paste values command. Choose a beam model from the drop down box and fill down if the same beam model is to be used throughout the building. Fill down the air discharge patterns and coil types. Press the Use button to transfer the approximate quantities into the actual quantities column. The left hand column turns green indicating that the Rapid Select function is ready to use. Click Rapid Select Single Zone or Rapid Select All Zones. The program will now compute the selections for all zones on the sheet at a rate of around one per second. Select the building summary sheet to show the total air and water flow rates, the beam quantities and a graphic showing the average air water side cooling ratio. This graphic is a useful indicator of the chilled beam system turndown when the water valves are closed and it also helps quantify the potential air system sizing reduction when compared to an all air system. By changing the settings of the approximate beam quantity calculator we can reduce the size of the primary air system and reduce energy consumption at the expense of additional chill beams with smaller nozzles which increases the water side to air side cooling ratio. Modelling different scenarios using this setting helps the engineer achieve the desired compromise of system cost and energy performance. There are three settings, lowest cost, a cost energy compromise which is the default setting and best energy. Our initial selections were calculated with the lowest cost setting. I will now select the best energy option and rerun the rapid select. The beam quantities in the approximate quantity column have now increased but we need to transfer those to the actual quantity column by pressing the use button. We can now run the selections again by pressing the Rapid Select All Zones button. Select the building summary sheet to see the results. And then compare the summary with the previous set of selections which were run at the lowest cost setting. We can see how the primary air system has reduced from around 23,000 CFM to around 14,500 CFM, but the beam quantity has increased from 234 to 311 units. The chilled water flow rate has also increased from 545 to 684 GPM, as the system is now covering more of the cooling load with the water circuit. We can make parameter changes and repeat the rapid select process to quickly model system scenarios to choose the best fit for our design goals and to help assist in the selection of the primary air handling units. This final run will demonstrate how using a lower primary air temperature will reduce the primary air system size but at the expense of reduced system turndown potential when the control water valves are closed. Take a snapshot of the system summary to compare with the previous set of selections which were run at 60 degree primary air. The total primary air flow rate has reduced from around 14,500 CFM to around 13,800 CFM. To view the completed selections, select the chill beam schedule sheet to see a summary of the performance schedule. 
each line item in this schedule represents a unique zone in the same order as the calculation sheet. This may consist of several hundred lines for a large building. Using the compiled schedule worksheet, a summarized schedule can be produced with the identical beams and performances grouped and automatically tagged for convenience. Press the Compile Schedule button to generate the schedule after any changes are made in the calculation sheet. The schedule can be imported into a blank worksheet by using the Copy to Blank Sheet button. This transfers the raw text data only. And that just about concludes the demonstration, but if you need further assistance, select the user notes sheet which contains detailed information on how to use this software and some chill beam system design tips and tricks. The Rapid Select Help is accessed by clicking on the question mark in the Rapid Select setup box. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.